the recent arrival in Poland of the US Army 4th Infantry Division and 3rd Armored Brigade Combat Team marks a significant moment in European defense. Army General Curtis Caparotti, commander of US European Command, said in a UCOM news release. According to statements by the US Army Europe, around 2,000 tanks and combat vehicles will be deployed to Eastern Europe, including M1 Abrams tank and Bradley infantry fighting vehicle. The additional combat equipment will give the US Army the option for another EV armored brigade. Presently, it has only two light brigades in Europe, the 173 Airborne Brigade and the 2nd Striker Cavalry Regiment. The CT40 system, which is, really gives us a, a paradigm shift in terms of technology, bringing in many new materials. Um, but more, more, more than that, it's the configuration of the, uh, of the cannon, uh, which uh, enables uh, a real um, reduction in the amount of space required within the turret. Um, so this, this allows the turret designers much more space within their, their systems. Uh, and so additionally to that, where we may have been limited to 30 mm cannons in the past, we can now move up to 40 mm and introduce that significant more performance, uh, lethality, um, that we wouldn't normally see from systems of, of this size. So a great step forward as far as we're concerned. UK-France defence collaborations becomes more closely tied with the key signing of a new agreement to enable next phase of the unmanned combat air system programme and future support for Ajax and Warrior armoured vehicles. The CT Cannon is a great example of bilateral collaboration leading to improved capability for European armoured forces. The CT cannon is smaller and lighter than conventional weapons of similar calibers, providing unrivaled punch for its size. The unique cylindric CT ammunition design takes up to less space than similar system and is easier to select and load for automatic handling systems. According a statement on the Japanese Acquisition Technology and Logistics Agency website, Japan has developed a new generation of 8x8 armored vehicle personal carrier APC to replace the Type 96 8x8 APC in service with the Japanese armed forces since 1996. The new vehicle will offer more protection than the previous APC Type 96 to respond to the new threats of modern battlefield, as the IEDs improvised explosive devices. The first prototype of the vehicle was handed on January 10, 2017. A total of $41 US million has been invested by the Japanese Ministry of Defense to develop this new real combat vehicle in collaboration with the Japanese company Komatsu Limited that will continue the trials of the prototype until 2019. BA System has received a $542 million contract from the US Department of Defense to provide 145 M777 ultra lightweight Howitzer to the Indian Army to a foreign military sale between the US and Indian governments. The M777 is the world's first 155mm Howitzer weighing less than 4,218 kilos selected by the U.S. Marine Corps and U.S. Army as the next generation medium force weapon. Future U.S., Canadian and Australian orders total more than a thousand guns. M777 is now in full rate production for the U.S. Armed Forces and is the benchmark for 155mm lightweight towered artillery system. The latest version of the M777A2 is an improved version of the previous M777 incorporating a software update that enables the Oizer to program and fire the M982 
Excalibur guided projectile at a range of 40 km with a circular error probable of 10 meters. Israel Weapon Industry, a leader in the production of combat-proof small arms for law enforcement agencies, governments and armies around the world, will market its Tavor X95 Bilper rifle in Canada starting from the first quarter of 2017. Based on the US model, the Canadian Tavor X95 will be adapted to the Canadian loads with an 18.6 inch barrel. The rifle will be manufactured and assembled in Israel on the same production line and used for the US market and will therefore carry the IWI US markings. It will be exported directly from the Israel to Canada and like the Tavo will be classified in Canada as non-restricted. The US Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 121, an F-35B squadron with 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing, departed Marine Corps Air Station Yuma, Arizona, transferring to Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni, Japan, on January 9, 2017. The US Marines announced on January 11 on its website. In November 2012, the Marine Corps announced that after a century of Marine Corps aviation, 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing would introduce its first F-35B Lightning II Squadron. The F-35B was developed to replace the Marine Corps F-A-18 Hornet, AV-8B Harrier and AE-6B Prowler. The first six Russian Su-24M tactical bombers have already been relocated from the Air Force base in Syria to Russia and more aircraft will be back soon, Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Igor Konashenkov said. At the same time, four Su-25 fighters arrive in Syria in the framework of planned rotation. In one of the most significant tests of autonomous system under development by the US Department of Defense, the Strategic Capabilities Office, partnering with Naval Air Systems Command, successfully demonstrated one of the world's largest micro-drone swarms at China Lake, California, according a US Department of Defense statement on January 9, 2017. The tests conducted in October 2016 and documented on Sunday's CBS News program, 60 Minutes, consists of one 103 Perdrix drone launched from three F-8-18 Super Hornets. The micro-drones demonstrated advanced swarm behaviors such as collective decision-making, adaptive formation flying and self-healing. This is our uh, DDG-51 Flight 3. This is the first time we've displayed it here at Service Navy. Um, it's incorporating uh, several features um, that are new to the Flight 3. That includes the AMDR radar, the SPY-6. Uh, we've also um, changed some configuration of the, uh, the ribs on the side, added some uh, habitability up top side, and uh, increased the stern uh, for uh, added safety displacement. Um, all these are design features the Navy are currently working on uh, that we believe are, are going to be incorporated into the Flight 3. The rest of the changes are primarily below deck. The Navy is going to increase the electrical distribution system. They're going from a 440 system to a 4160 to give more power and more energy for the new radar and the future systems. The other thing is they have also increased the 
type of cooling system on there to give it a higher efficiency. So they're going from uh, 200 ton plants to 300 tons. I'm here to present the Ceros 200 fire control director system, which you can see next to me. This is a fire control radar used for gunfire control and also missile fire control for naval ships. The system consists of a tracking radar, which is a KU band radar with a very high power and high precision to track, initiate track of an air target or a sea skimming missile. This radar can then designate to any gun, for example the Mark 110 as you have on the LCS or any other gun, or can be used for ESSM illumination. Uh, to shoot down that air target or a sea skimming missile. We also have an optical suite, so it's a TV camera, a laser rangefinder, and an infrared camera. So you can uh, do passive tracking, that means no transmitting, and to, in for the same effect, to shoot down missiles. Sand Shark is our uh, smallest and most portable autonomous underwater vehicle. Now, an autonomous underwater vehicle is a battery-powered, uh, untethered uh, robot that is used for many functions and many applications, including mapping the seafloor, as well as um, uh, every environmental sensing and really um, looking at various technologies to integrate new payloads into the vehicle. So, what we're offering today is a uh, is a, a small. Uh, Four, just over a four inch vehicle, which has a 200 meter depth rating, and it has the endurance for about eight hours. And so what we've done is designed this vehicle to be an open uh, payload architecture, so that our users can now integrate new payloads in, into the vehicle that itself. Um, so we provide the, the engine, if you will, and we want our, our users to, uh, to, to integrate a new payload. However, we do offer uh, existing payloads such as a side scan sonar and video.